Welcome. Uh, today from Afros, I'm here with uh, my colleague uh, Nirdosh Kora, who is a doctor, uh, and um, today we'd like to talk about uh, integrative holistic approach to the medicine. And uh, Nirdosh is an expert, founder of Body Medicine. He's teaching all over the world, also conscious medicine. And I'm uh, very fascinated by this subject, especially how we can bring medicine into uh, today's uh, world, the medicine that is holistic, that is based on our body, our emotions, feelings, and not using uh, the drugs. So I will pass the mic to Nirdosh and we will start some uh, interview. Thank you, Nisarga. <laughs> so it's a pleasure to be here with Nisarga. Uh, we've known each other for many years and it's so beautiful to to feel everything you're doing also with uh, all the work you're doing around the world and it's very nice to meet you again here in yeah. Afros. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a place where, where we have shared time together and uh, it's beautiful because uh, I work here uh, some months of the year. Uh, I practice my, my holistic integrative approach to healing and, uh, and it's beautif beautiful to be in a place like this in nature because it's so nourishing for the body, for the soul. So it's very nice to meet both of us here, and so I'm grateful for this interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beautiful too. Yeah. To have this interview also here in Greece, uh, in the summertime on Lesbos Island, in the meditation center, Osho Afros. So. You can even hear the cicadas in the background. It's beautiful weather here. We're between the olive trees and the grapevines. So what better to have an interview yeah. here? Yeah. <laughs> So Nirdosh, if you can uh, give your understanding and uh, your uh, vision on uh, health, healthcare today, and like holistic approach to health, and what is in the first place, what is health, and how we can stay healthy without using uh, drugs or medication? Mm. Well, health uh, nowadays it's it's like uh, one of the main focus in everywhere in the world for. Uh, in an educational, political scale, worldwide health is a huge, huge subject today because we are going really through a big health crisis worldwide. This mm. is unfortunately the, the actual situation where we're living in right now. Basically because the, the medical system doesn't, f doesn't function, doesn't work. Uh, we have the, ha the most advanced technology ever. The, the medical system, uh, the Western conventional allopathic medical system has taken over most uh, um, first world countries at least and many others and basically that approach is not functioning because there's more disease, there's more chronic disease, uh, constantly more diagnosis coming up. So in my experience throughout these years of working I find that the best ways is to have the most holistic approach possible to the human being including as many approaches possible to see the human being as a whole not just the physical body not focusing on a symptom or on an organ of the body but uh, on the whole human being as a whole and um, in that aspect that, that's usually how I work mm -hmm. individually and also when I give workshops or trainings basically seeing that the, we cannot really separate the physical body from our thoughts, from our emotions, from what we eat, from our daily activities, from our environment, from our conditioning or everything we're carrying from the past and many other dimensions. So it's um, to really be able to, to approach health in a conscious way we need to approach as many as possible each area uh, of a human being and therefore we can really come back to a harmonious state of well-being and uh, and it's really an art mm -hmm. it's really an art yeah. like uh, that, that's why I love to do this because mm -hmm. it's it's something that is never the same there's no way to give one treatment for one disease you know because we, this is how medicine works you know mm -hmm. They just try to find a diagnosis, which is just a, a tag, a name for what a person has. And therefore, when they have the, the diagnosis, they give a medication. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's very mechanical uh, yeah. in a way how medicine works. Mm -hmm. But there's no way to bring real healing like that. In my experience, to bring health, we need to focus on an individual. 
on a human being as a whole so we need to have empathy we need to have connection we need to have trust uh, we need to have um, understanding between each other and to cover as many areas as possible that can be the cause or where there can be imbalances that are causing the symptom or the disease in the person mm -hmm. and if we can approach it in in connection with the person if we can really establish a, a common or a togetherness working through this it's amazing what can happen and I've witnessed healing of all kinds of diagnosis and disease throughout the world and it's it's really my passion to, mm. to work with yeah. people in this way <laughs> it's beautiful what you said also about that wholeness and uh, and that whole approach to human being but uh, there's something I read lately and I want to ask you about mm. what you think of it uh, I read an article which says that uh, a big amount of healing maybe like 60 70 percent of healing happens to the, to the to our clients because they believe yes. they believe and they trust and uh, it's very interesting because it uh, makes me realize that actually there is so much uh, healing happens because of what happened for the client in in their system how they uh, how they um, you know uh, approach the healing and how they believe in what we present to them what do you think on that this uh, this is uh, in my experience absolutely true and not only in my experience we have so many medical uh, studies reported in many of the medical journals that study medically we call it the placebo effect mm. which is not my favorite word to use because it's deeper than that but it's when the person really uh, receives the support they need the body itself creates the healing processes needed for whatever situation the person is encountering so <clears throat> even in medicine 60 to 70 percent of the healing effects of all the medical allopathic treatments are due to this effect not to the chemical effect of the medication mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is proved so usually we think that the medication cured us you know from a symptom or a disease but in reality it's 60 to 70 percent the effect that the person experiences just by feeling supported by the doctor or the health practitioner mm. <coughs> sorry <laughs> so that's amazing so now the the second question is what is the field how do we build that uh, that trust and that uh, heartful space so the client can uh, you know tap into this this healing vortex where they can really uh, change something when they can really go through transformation yeah how to how to provide that platform and I think this platform for example like here in Osho Afros this is a place where where I come since 10 years and it's for me like a healing place where where I feel like I can drop into rest I can drop into meeting friends into good food into being on the sun and and I think this somehow uh, for me coming here with a lot of uh, anxiety lately uh, from overworking and and stress and 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 tiredness uh, already in one week uh, i feel like i'm back to my almost full potential so so this is for me interesting how tapping into this um healing vortex can tremendously affect our health yeah it's mm. amazing it's like i resonate so much with what you say because when i arrived here two months ago I had gone through a very intense period, really unexpected, very strong situations I went through in my life. And I was coming with a, with a big uh, tension load and some fears because it was quite intense what I faced. And just by arriving here, feeling the nature, just feeling embraced by the nature, friends around, the meditation field, I started doing the meditations, and just, you know, just the, the sounds, the sun, the wind, my whole system... It, immediately starts coming back to harmony mm -hmm. just that has an incredible effect yeah and there are so many uh, studies now done even uh, they, they give names to these new sciences like um, uh, forest healing and there's all these kind of studies mm -hmm. that they do just uh, proving scientifically the healing effects of nature mm -hmm. so here for example is we have the healing effects of nature just by watching, fe listening, 
breathing in the scents of the rosemary of the lavender which we have right in front <laughs> uh, this is already healing by itself and then we have for example a meditation field where we all get together various times in the day and we meditate with different techniques some of them help to release tensions actively from the body and some of them are more passive just to have space to allow the mind to slowly come down allow the body to do what it needs to do by itself one of the most amazing things that I've discovered in these years of research and practice with my patients is that healing happens through the body by the body itself we have this belief that healing comes from the outside as if a, a pill will cure me or a supplement will cure me and yes many times they do help certain medications certain herbs certain supplements certain therapies they definitely help but in my experiences all of these methods are a support for the body to do the healing itself mm. so the healing happens through the body this body has evolved for millions of years has encountered all kinds of extreme situations throughout history and has developed these inner mechanisms to after going through strong stressful situations extreme situations either of hunger or wounds or whatever the body throughout these millions of years has developed these inner mechanisms of self-healing mm. and what we're encountering today in the world is that people don't give the body the support or the means that it needs to do these processes on its own people are undernourished they don't eat well they are overstressed so there's so much tension which produces chemicals in the body that don't allow these healing effects to happen in the body plus many other <laughs> situations that are happening around which interfere with the natural healing effects of the body so that's why that's one of the main causes why why there's such a health crisis nowadays mm. yeah. and um, you said health crisis and um, I have been uh, also working with uh, myofascial energetic release which is very effective method for pain syndrome and I know many researchers for example the latest research from European Health Institute that uh, in last four years there was over 200 million people suffering in Europe from pain from chronic pain that means that for a certain period of time uh, we are not able to do and normal activities like um, you know bending f down to pick something up or going in the car or even waking up from the bed and uh, just to put it into perspective 200 million people is 30 percent of population of Europe that's like crazy three people out of ten uh, so it's like huge epidemic and and as you said it's crisis so this um, what you said before about the lifestyle about being overstressed undernourished and and um, like uh, also I feel it's about emotions unexpressed emotions feelings uh, and uh, losing connection with nature having time to meditate having time to also nourish ourselves and be in peace creates that that crisis that we're facing in in Europe uh, at the moment I think all over the world it's not just uh, Europe probably states United States is probably even worse I don't know statistics but um, so um, my really interest is is to study this subject and bring awareness to as many people as possible how we can tap to uh, this wisdom of the body that you mentioned that this is the body that heals and uh, and creating that platforms all over the world uh, that people can come and reconnect the connection to the body nourish the body release the stress tensions from the body and change the patterns that create the pain in the first place it's not about taking pills it's not about uh, you know looking for short cuts for pain sometimes uh, we need maybe a little bit more longer time to 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 find uh, what is the symptom and how i can change my lifestyle how i can change my conditioning to go back to myself and and heal and and live pain free that's something i like what you said because you said to reconnect and uh, to reconnect with nature to reconnect with what our body needs there's one factor which is very present here where we are right now like in, in osho afros which is the human connection also mm, yeah. and this is 
the more I work, the more I, I experience, I see is one of the most essential elements that we are lacking today. And when we do get it, when we when we really experience human connection, mm -hmm. the healing effects this has on the body are unbelievable. Yeah. Proved like with so many scientific uh, research that has happened. And but what does this mean? It means like real human connection meaning connecting and being able to to share in an open heartful way being sincere being able to express what we feel express our emotions being able to have a physical contact to hug to to feel the person which is something inbuilt in our dna it's a need that we all have since we are born which is one of the things we are lacking the most in society nowadays we do have all these social media connection and we do meet people in our work environment and on the street, but this felt connection is is almost absent in most of the population. So this brings another kind of undernourishment that has very very important uh, effects in our health. Mm. So yeah. yeah, beautiful what you said. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, Thank you guys for watching uh, our video. Yes. It was a pleasure to talk to you, you Nirdosh. Thank you. Thanks. And um, <laughs> I would like to leave you with this thought, uh, the last thought of Nirdosh. Connect with people, connect with people around you, reach out, uh, have an eye contact, have some deeper conversation with your friends or family, have a hug. And really that, that, that human connection is so important in our life. That's why I love coming here to Afros because there is so many great, beautiful people that are open-hearted and um, intimate, you know, and, and this is where, where really I rest, I, I take a lot of healing and I love sharing myself. So create your community around and be intimate and uh, stay healthy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you. See ya. <laughs>